Hi everyone, it's me, Violet C. <laughs> uh, were you planning that? No, no, yeah. no, it's just spur of the moment. God, mm -hmm. lucky you're pretty, sweetie. Am I a pretty girl? Am I a pretty girl? You're not a pretty girl! And I'm Bob Mick. And you're watching... No Gorge. <laughs> no Gorge. Gorge. Sorry we look uglier than usual. Speak for your fucking self, bitch. I look gorgeous. My new haircut is giving. Giving like hate crime. Well, it actually sort of ties into today's episode really nicely. I, my hair is getting thinner and I did just chop it all off and people, people in the comments are calling me bald. Bald, bald. <laughs> they are? Yes. <laughs> no, but like I am gonna get the surgery in December. I'm very excited. In December? Yeah. I mean, let's just spend Christmas in Turkey and just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Bam! We're gonna have to figure it out because I don't want just the hairline, I want a lot of stuff. Well, I thought we were going straight from the UK and I would just get my- Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna get, do. I get like my teeth done or that's something. That's what we're gonna do. After the UK, I'm going, we're going straight to Turkey. Yeah. Basically, I think we wanted to talk about aging today. I don't like that word. There's gotta be a better way to put it. Like, what do you wanna say? Maturing. Ooh, that's worse to me for some reason. Yeah, because you never did it. <laughs> Peter Pan has fun. What do you have? <laughs> Nothing. Money. Hairline surgeries. <laughs> Nothing. Speaking of aging, that's I realized what I think the first time me feeling really old is like shut up it's like realizing these characters that like you would relate to like the kids at first watching it and now you're like oh i'm older than meredith blake now. no that's insane or it'll be like like cardi b's younger than me and i'm like wait what uh, no. is she she's, to me she's like older she? she's like like six months younger than me or something oh. like so the same age neck but like, neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy because like in my mind she's like an older celebrity that like well, is doing has, like, old thing, like biz, yeah. like has children and like well, old. It's like the normal age for children. It's like up. I feel. I feel like it's well. I feel like I don't our know. parents was like you have kids at like twenty five or something. My mom had me really late. Really. Yeah. Okay, if you were gonna have kids, what age do you think is like the optimal age? I mean, I if I have kids, I'm not having them until like forty. Duh, but. That's like, not optimal I, I for me. I feel like ideal in the world, it'd be so kind if you're like shits together. 35. Yeah, like that would be stunning. No, younger. Cause you wanna <laughs> be, you wanna be able to relate to your kids. Like the whole point of having kids for me is so that someone can take care of you when you're old. Girl, take it easy. In my mind, you wanna be able to relate to them somewhat. Like you don't wanna be like, but why? hey Johnny, what's going on? Like you don't wanna be like old Mima. like. I guess so. But I mean, maybe I'll just never have kids then because I, I mean, we're like never having I'm kids. I'm literally We've... just getting started here. <laughs> like I just started transitioning, just started doing all this shit. No, I'm you're not... definitely, you, you're you not having, I'm not allowing you to have, unless you become literally a multi, multi, multi millionaire, you're not allowed to have kids. If I not, hear by the time decree. I'm a multi, multi, multi millionaire, it's like, I want to go on private jet vacations with my husband and look stunning and like not deal with the children. I know. Right now. Mm -mm. Our friend Lady Fack has a baby and bringing it all around town. All it, around town. It. <laughs> bringing it around bring town. It around. Around. <laughs> that you do this, that you do this. This and that, this and that and that. Watching We're like, never having kids, it's no. fine. Like, but it's if not I for did, us. I would adopt two twin boys. Twin boys, black hair, Damien and Dior. I see it now. Damien and Dior. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that is good. So hot, right? I had to make it my personal responsibility to make Dior like not a douchebag because if Dior was a douchebag, it'd be like really bad. But Damien, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Our signs unplugged. Oh no. What the fuck? These start over. I would say mentally, I'm like 23. Well, I genuinely think I'm the age I was before the pandemic. You doing Drag Race during the pandemic is so weird it to me. so weird, The yeah. fact that you just did it, like, I just like can't relate to you, I feel like, on that level, because <laughs> you're just so new. I know, it, it like, is so new. It's like the past year. Like, the past year, like, like, in doing it during the pandemic. Also, like, for me, the pandemic was literally yesterday. So the fact that you, like, started the pandemic not being on Drag Race, and then, like, like, that's weird. It's so weird. That's really weird. I don't like it. I don't either. Gross. Time moves by faster it when does. you're, like, older. A year is, like... I know. Like, as a child, like, a year... Like, how is it almost Halloween already? 
Like no, we, we just, just did Halloween. Did the Chucky thing. We just like I just got unpacked it. Like I just got rid of that fucking look. Like I don't know how it's Halloween again. Ooh. <laughs> Time's weird, man. It really is. What was your do you have a good childhood? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, people were always calling me gay before I even knew what gay yeah, was. Like, well. I was the center of controversy, I feel like. You are controversial. A controversial little diva. Yeah. I mean, like, even as a kid, I remember, like, being, like, singled out, like, for being just different. Like, as a child, like, as a kindergarten or first grader, like, just yeah. like, oh, this one. I was at, I don't know, it was some event. And someone from Violet's high school came up to me and was like, I went to high school with Violet. And I was like, oh, really? And she was like, well, she was like older than me, like by a few years, like you were a senior or something, or like maybe even graduated. And she was like, so I didn't know her, but like there was always drama. Or like something crazy. And I was like, oh my God, thank you for telling me this, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> just so dramatic. But like what, I was just fabulous. I was just fucking cunt. You're a little cunt. I literally like one time made a theme, a uh, spirit week, like 80s theme, just so I could play Karma Chameleon all the time on the speakers. <laughs> Karma like, Chameleon hits different now. Let's talk about that. It's talk my fic, fucking favorite song. Fucking favorite song. It's my fucking <laughs> favorite song. <laughs> you're my lover, not my life. That hits different when you're older. Oh, when you're older. Who is, who's the oldest person you've ever hung up? Hug, whoa, did I have a stroke? Help. Who's the oldest person you've ever hooked up with? Like age gap wise. When I was 18 or 19, and I remember hooking up with this like 42 year old guy and he was a doctor. I don't know, he hit me up recently and like said congratulations on like Facebook. What? Yeah. But like, I remember hooking up with him multiple times and just like, he was like, like hot. Adam like, to Adam days. No, it was not that old. <laughs> I forgot, I think I met him on Grinder or something. I feel like that's your age. There was another older guy that I hooked up with. I, I would say that's probably the biggest age gap is 20 years. When you're 18 and you're hooking up with a 42 year old, that's like, it was very daddy vibes. But I remember he had like, he was a doctor and he had like a loft and he had like all, he had like Netflix and like all the streaming stuff like before it was like common. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like he like huge TV. He's like, you want to like, record the show? And you're like, ah, yeah, record. Was, like, on my TiVo. Like I remember being oh, like. Oh my God, yes. I remember being like impressed that he had like, a full like spread and set up and like owned his loft and like was a doctor and, and like is gorgeous there's something like about doctors that like just know how to fuck like because they know the anatomy of the body i feel like they know like what yeah you, you never I, that's I, why? I get, like, medical i like a medical moment i don't think i've ever hooked up with a doctor well we were he was fucking with a condom and the condom came off inside of me mm. and he like Got it out. He's like, I know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> it was like so medical. And I was like, how do you do it? He just went and got it. <laughs> yeah, no shit, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, MySpace. Let me tell you Gen Zers out there about MySpace. Mm -hmm. That was the most unhinged era of my life. Like coming home from school, getting on the computer on MySpace, checking all your messages and like following all of these like scene kids and then like, meeting up with somebody like I would literally be like mom I'm going to spend the night at my friend's house and we're going to like youth group in the morning like full like going to church mom like see you later go to the friend's house the friend's mom like we they'd have like a basement we just hang out at the basement there's like a door from the basement to the street and then I'd have some guy I met on MySpace drive to my friend's house park around the block I would be like bye friends leave my friends get in this you've always been like that I've always been like that oh my god for a guy like, you know those, like, TikToks of, like, me at 60 in the back of some stranger's car going 150 miles an hour, like, with a four loco? That was literally me. God. Meeting them off MySpace, going in their car, going to a college party, and just, like, hoping for the best. Electric chair! Bye! Because we had, like, a computer room in my house. Mm. And, like, I'm pressing the button. It's like, yeah! Like, logging onto the internet. That was a good impression. <laughs> in my snatch game, when I go on All Stars, you just go as AOL. You had to dial up Mona. <laughs> RuPaul's like, Sally shall see, shall all the sea short so she can. I'm like, <laughs> I'm You've got mail. You got she mail. Well, I just love that I remember before the internet. Like, 
Me I'm, too. I, I like, but you're like barely. You like. It would be crazy to like be because I barely like full like clubbing without a phone. Like that's buck. Like going to the club at like Paris Hilton era where it's like you're safe to do whatever you want because no, no one's phones, gonna take a photo, no pictures, like at all. That's so major. Was your first like like what was your first like step of like anti aging? Well, I had really really bad acne. Even on Drag Race, I was struggling with acne problems. No, like, you definitely because I knew you when you got on Accutane. It was to the point where I would I wouldn't leave the house. That is crazy. I remember one time we were doing like we at my show in Atlanta. Like this is the era where I didn't want to get out of drag. Yeah. And part of that was because I had really bad skin. Mm-hmm. And so the makeup was truly like a mask. Yeah. And I would wear so much makeup. I had more fun being Violet than I did being my real self. And that's when I was like, oh, I think I'm trans. Out of makeup, I felt so ugly. Like, so ugly. And it was like hard to look at myself in the mirror. It was hard to leave the house. Getting on Accutane was like my first step of like grow up. Yeah. I remember at my show, the other show, we did a week where we did the reading challenge. And I remember somebody, and we like all tried to read each other the way they do on Drag Race. I remember someone got up and was like, Violet Tchotchke, proactive called. They went their before picture back. All right. On stage in front of everybody. And I remember being so like embarrassed. Mm. And I remember my my skin was just so textured and so ugly. Ugh, but that's a good read. That was so... <laughs> yeah. It was... And the entire room was like... I was... Dying, <laughs> laughing. Like, it was so good. And I was like... And I'm such a bitch that I was like trying sort of come back with a rebuttal. And I like couldn't. And I was oh. like... Fuck! That sucks. Yeah. Well, now that I know you really well too, you're like a little sensitive angel too, so... If I care about you, I can weave a web in my mind that like yeah. really takes it there. Yeah. You know what's helped me is definitely like placenta helped me with my aging. Mm. No, but I just use placenta like serums and stuff. Mm. And I, it's like but sheet like placenta. But like your placenta? No, bitch. Whose? It's like sheet placenta. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And it like. Silence of the lambs. Yeah. And it just like literally takes away so much. If you have like an acne moment or something, it'll take the redness away. It helped on my scars. Like if I'm like on the placenta, it's like turning it and wow. burning it. People are probably gonna, probably gonna start reading us in the comments for like being so like anti aging. I just love anti aging. Like I. Most. One of my controversial no gorge statements is like that interview Kim did was like that she was like, if you told me I'll be young if I eat. Poop. poop like i'll probably do it yeah me too i probably would too especially like can i capsule pill form the poop <laughs> <laughs> right i will literally take well, those all day me. always apply your skincare on the back of your hands honey really yes i've never heard decolletage that. hands face all of it <laughs> decolletage hands face, face all of it well i think we also like during covid it's like you got to grow out your facial hair and you got to be like a boy more and like I don't know, like our little Ibiza vacation, like me just like not doing drag. I was like, oh my God, like I'm growing hair and stuff like I never have in my life. And I want to do that. Like I want to like focus on my boy self. Sucks. So bad. Too bad. I know. I'm like literally a trans also, guy. Like what profession should I do? Dress like a woman. <laughs> like what the fuck? You could do bearded drag. <laughs> 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 Would you love that? Would you still do twin shoots of me? If I had a huge beard? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I have to see it. But yeah, we were just like discussing like what we're going to look like when we get older. And I said, I'm going to have a beard and a scooter. And that's all I know. I think I'm going to be like a Palm Springs gay. And I think I'm going to, I, I like, I think I'm definitely going to be flipping houses. You're going to definitely move to Palm Springs and open the only vintage and, store of life. Vintage yeah. store of life. Yeah. Like I think, and I'm like, I won't sell anything. Like I want to just like have a shop that like, it's just like a, a gorgeous curation. Yeah. You could open like a, like be did with the rest of the We were thinking of calling it Violet's Tchotchkes. That's cute. And that's Who's the we? start. Me, Ellie. Oh. Me and Ellie's backup plan for anything is like move to bumfuck and open an antique store. I love that. Say we're like 60 and we're like still single and like not going to get married. Get a bunch of us to get houses, these like cheap mansions and like bumfuck and just start like a commune, a commune yeah. of old, rich, gay guys in some random city. You don't have to tell me twice. Those houses are everything. To get one of those like gorgeous mansions, renovate the whole thing, and make like a little 
sanctuary. I love it. All right. Well, our car is picking us up in like five minutes. So we have to go to London, love. London, look. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching us talking about getting old, being young, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. We love you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned because there's more No Gorge coming at you. See you next time. Bye, Bye Gorge. Gorge. No Gorge. Gorge. Uh, on Drag Race, when oh, <laughs> when they like would be, they would like tell us to do something we didn't want to do. We'd be like, "No!" and like bang the tables. So they're like, "You guys have to do this," and we'd be like, "We shall, we shall not do drag." Like all together and chant it so loud, and the producers would be like, <laughs> "So mad." Those poor, poor Every producers. Time. We shall, we Just shall not do drag. Wiping their tears with Emmys. Ooh. I know. They're like, you're going to do fucking drag. You're, you're going to tell like us it. how your fucking mom died. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cry for the camera, you little faggot. <laughs> yeah. Because we need another Emmy.